Anthony Slater, our 95.7 The Game Insider. Warriors are promoting Nick Kerr to head coach of the Santa Cruz Warriors. He worked at the Spurs video room back in 2017-18. Moved to the Warriors video room for three seasons. Worked in, his, in the G League, or excuse me, in Santa Cruz as a G League assistant the last two seasons. And he is Steve Kerr's son. He replaced himself with Cooper. Uh, Seth Cooper now co pilots the Warriors player development program. So Nick Kerr. I don't even. Santa Cruz G League Warriors. Do you know who he is? Yeah. Oh. Uh, wow. Is that is he? Wow. Steve's son. Wow. Steve's son. Yeah. Wow. That's that's pretty incredible. Uh, while we're out here giving out you know breaking news, breaking news. Uh, happy birthday, Emma Moylan. She turns the big one zero. Emma Moylan. Who's that? Jimbo's daughter. She's ten. Who's Jimbo? My buddy Jim. Charlie's dad. Oh, what's up, Charlie? Yeah. Charlie's dad. Yeah. How's Charlie doing? Charlie's good. We got baseball practice today. Ah. A little fall ball action. Well, you know, Clay Thompson's feeling good right now. Dude, what a great interview. Let's start it here. Clay working out with Steph Curry. I can handle it, how especially it, for the shooting portion. Yeah. But once he does <laughs> this ball handling with the tennis ball, he's got these lights. <laughs> he's got all this like crazy globetrotter, <laughs> yeah. jester stuff he's doing. Yeah, he's juggling. <laughs> I was training with him last week. He juggles the ball, goes behind his back. And I'm like, bro, I just get, I just need one, two dribbles, get my spot. <laughs> but like, I see why he can go to anywhere and does what he does with the ball. I'm like, yeah, Damn, Steph, you do this every day. And now I'm starting to implement more of that in what I do because I'm like, all right, that's why he ages so well. Yeah, he that's just, funny. He you catches said that. Yeah, and he his trainer Brendan actually told me an interesting concept, like how I like to catch rhythm with my footwork and sh get my shoulders square. But him and Steph train where he can get rhythm with his hands. Like with his handles being so tight, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I like the way you, you guys do things. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Even I've been his teammate for so long, I'm still in awe. Like, okay, of how he prepares. So and does we, all are we? So that's Clay on Steph and the ball handling drills. Clay's funny, man. He's, he's can, funny can you dude. play the one regarding oh, okay. Jordan Poole? Yeah, we got um, a couple. I, I really want to hear this because I thought this was very refreshing. We've heard a lot from like Draymond. We've heard a lot of like negativity about Jordan Poole. We heard I, some good stuff from Steph too. No, no, I know, but I yeah. like what what he says here. What Clay says here, oh, it makes me go, dude. Clay's a good guy, dude. Well, like this, I thought this was the, like really classy of him to say about Jordan. No, this is really to get cool. Out of Clay's doghouse. Well, no, honestly, yeah. like Jordan, we've taken a dump on a twenty three year old. I just, I'm, as a media and as a fan base, and I feel bad for Jordan Poole. It's like uh, that is a human. We got two cuts here, Clay, on the honor to play with CP three and some Jordan Poole thoughts. To be able to play with someone like Chris is an honor. Obviously, it hurts to see Jordan go. That's the nature of the beast that is this business. Mm -hmm. JP, was he was homegrown. I saw him put the work in. I saw him go 215 in the game, but then he would be in the dungeon, which we call our practice facility because there's no windows, getting shots up right after the game. And that reminded me of my younger self. Like I would have a terrible shooting night in Oakland at Oracle. I would drive to the practice facility in downtown Oakland. I would do the same thing my second year. And I, I'm like, I don't have the energy for that no more. But to see JP follow that same <laughs> that same footing, I'm like, man, this kid's going to be special. And we wouldn't have won the championship without him. Like, mm -hmm. he was so important to us when Steph went down and we played that series against Denver. I mean, so Jordan is forever going to be cherished in the Warriors lore just for what he did and mm -hmm. helped bring us back to where we needed to go. And I know he's going to do great things in Washington. And it felt good to see him last week. It was weird seeing him in some Wizards gear, but that's like <laughs> Steph Nye's little bro. So to yeah. see him going, he's going to flourish out there. I'm happy for him. You know, he's happy for him. we made so much of like, JP's the, the mean one or the odd man out or the guy that doesn't work hard or he isn't this, isn't that. How refreshing is it to hear from someone oh. who is, he's minted, Clay Thompson. He's a made man. Like, try to like give the guy some love on the way out the door in a classy way and just being real about Honestly, the work ethic. Like, that was cool. And then say that that's oh. my little bro. We don't win a championship without him. I appreciate, as a Warrior fan, oh. that's what I appreciate about Clay Thompson well, right there. This, and not to make it about me. What's that? I'm glad Clay said it. Me too. But I've told you for a couple of years now, and I've told everybody here, I, I don't, I'm not trying to be like, I told you so. No, I told no, no. You so. What, what, what? Clay Thompson's brother, Michael, his older brother, works out Jordan Poole before every single game. That's who he works out with. Michael is running with Jordan Poole. And if you thought there was any friction with Clay, Jordan Poole, do you think his older brother will be working out Jordan Poole before the game? Like, that was his guy, that was his coach. That was his guy. Like, Steph has Q. You know what I mean? 
Draymond, I forget who Draymond has. He may have Q2. Um, but they all got different dudes. Chris DeMarco. Chris DeMarco worked out with JP at times, too, and Clay Thompson. Michael Thompson was there as well. And the whole thing about him working out, I said that all last year. All last year. Jordan Poole's the first one in the gym, last one out. He's a good kid. Yeah. He's a good kid. So the messiness that went on around this team was very unfair to Jordan Poole, which made me call Willard's show. And one day, Willard did. And so I had to call him and check him about something. It's like, no, nah, dude, you're out here spreading false narratives about JP. He's not that type of guy. So I'm glad Clay Thompson said too. that. And I'm, I'm glad Steph has said that. Well, and I'm glad that he said, like, we don't, he just said it in a sentence. We don't win the championship without Jordan Poole. I don't know why people believe they do. Now, now, we can have a different conversation about moving forward. Is it the right fit for a variety of reasons? Will it help them win another championship? And does the money prohibit them? Like, there's a, there's all these other layers of conversations we can have. But let's not have revisionist history on his impact on what did get them their fourth championship. No and, which and you know many, what? Which many and, think is the bonus championship. Hey, well, 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 and it's what didn't get them the fifth championship because JP didn't play well. Yeah. A, I mean, he may have been a difference maker yeah. in winning a championship last that's year. That's a good point. So, that's a really not having point. JP playing at a high level last year got you bounced by the LA Lakers at six. Here's more uh, clay on J J uh, Jordan Poole. But no, nah, I'm excited for him. That Washington got a good one. Yeah. Future All Star for sure. I said the same thing. Like, yeah. that's, he stood out to me. In the beginning, I wasn't, I'm not going to lie, I, I didn't see the vision. Mm -hmm. He had a, a, sh a rough rookie year mm -hmm. where he was young, though. He was like 20. Yeah, and he, he was throwing the fire like we just got off a of finals appearance. And yeah, like, it, it was pressure on him. All right, no Steph, no Clay. It was go ahead and take him. the reins then, Rook. But I was just, I was just watching. I'm like, ah, I don't, so, I don't, I don't see it. So yeah. But in year two, he came out a totally different player, and I was yeah. like, wow, that's the work ethic. And in year three, I was like, damn, yeah. like I, I, and I felt like the league was like, all right, there's three of them now, like, yeah. It's not yeah, just right? Stephen Clay anymore. It's three of them. Yeah, it's Jordan Poole is is shooting on that level right now. You know, we talk a lot about are we going to regret the Niners not getting that dude at quarterback under Shanahan? Are they going to regret some of the decisions they made if they don't make if they don't win another Super Bowl or if they don't win the Super Bowl for the first time since 94, 95? Are the Warriors at some point going to regret letting go of Jordan Poole? I don't know. Are they that that's going to it's going to take it's going to take some time. But it's I like a three- to five-year exercise, you know? Can, can we also, like, his success is going to be viewed through a variety of lenses. It is. Jordan Poole's. It is. The Warriors' success is going to be viewed through a variety of lenses. So yep. just because both, let's say both of them fail, I don't think they're mutually exclusive concepts. I mean, I think they are mutually no, exclusive right. concepts, meaning... Just because Jordan Poole's awesome in Washington doesn't mean he would have been awesome no. moving forward with this Warrior team. Just because the Warriors are awesome and Jordan Poole isn't over there mm -hmm. doesn't mean that he couldn't have adjusted here. Like I, I just think there's too many nuances here. I, right. I don't know. But I do I do appreciate Clay and Steph. We're going to look back. Yeah, we are going right to look there. back. You're right there. We are going to look back. We're going to look back a, a lot. At, and James Wiseman, too. So he's why he's not forgotten about. We'll look back at him if you case. Right now, people are laughing it, at him or whatnot, but, but we'll look at all those moves. Similar to the Purdy Lance convo, Pool showed way more than Weissman ever did. Oh, no doubt. No way more. Doubt. So to lump no them doubt. together to me is disrespectful to Jordan Poole. Yeah, and no I'm not doubt. trying to rip James Wiseman, yeah, no, another right. young man. You're right. But there's levels. No, no. Jordan Poole played like damn near the month, the player of the month in the month of March when right? Steph was out. I mean, he was a dynamic. So it was cool to hear Clay said it, and and working out with Pool. What was that? Curry, Clay. Look, I think Seth. they're all just good guys. Yeah. Like again, maybe like for example, like I can I can like my my brother. I don't necessarily want to live with my brother every single day, in and out, because I want to kill him at times, right? So maybe just because you like Jordan Poole doesn't mean you want to play with him next year. Warriors are coming soon. That might Media not have been day. a great analogy. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep going on. You're gonna you want to kill your brother?